This is Brad Morton with Morton Design Group here to present the Herbert Residence. This is a backyard makeover where we are adding a pool, spa, barbecue, fireplace, fountain, and general hardscape to the existing yard. Um, the pool and spa here that you see in the picture, uh, we have a 37 and a half foot long pool by approximately 16 and a half at the narrow and 18 foot at the long. We are, um, the spa is seven by eight and the spa is raised up 18 inches. And as we get down into the 3D here, I'll explain some of the other goodies that we have going on. So in looking at it from overhead, you're gonna notice a spa here. We have a uh, stair-stepped glass tile or equivalent uh, dam wall spilling down into the pool. The spa is raised up 18 inches with a couple of pilasters on either side to support some decorative succulent uh, bowls. We have some pottery throughout. I have a uh, minimalist uh, barbecue over here. We have a dining area here under umbrella, sunning areas on this side of the pool to capture that afternoon sun. And we have a uh, little courtyard area off of the existing, or the proposed, I should say, uh, office in the back here. So there's a closer view. I'm using the uh, tumbled square and rectangle stone from the front yard as my uh, continuation of hardscape, as well as the brick veneer on the house for all the veneers. Under here, you're gonna see a new fireplace feature with media niche and cabinetry here that can be closed. This is engulfing the existing six by six wood post and anchoring this corner of the overhead. I figured for budget reasons and uh, to make this a little bit more usable and uh, more practical from a cost standpoint that it would uh, be a nice uh, little separation between the new office area and uh, also giving the feel of a, a bit of a closed in outdoor room while also not killing views. So that is my solution there. You'll see the spa there in the background. That's raised up 18 so that also doubles as some additional seating surfaces. And in the back here on the raised pool wall, this is uh, raised up 18 and I have three uh, slot type waterfall features spilling into the pool. Two fire urns on the back here and I'll show you those as we get to that over in the courtyard off of uh, the new office uh, French doors. I have a fountain feature on the back of the fireplace that'll give this area some nice visual uh, interest as well as sound. And uh, you guys could put a uh, bistro table out there or a couple of club chairs, place to work, set up a laptop, etc. It just separates you enough from the main outdoor living space so it feels like it's its own separate space. Uh, all the coping and wall caps are a precast concrete with a nice wash finish, kind of a timeless look. And again, here's a shot of those fire urns here on these upper corners and then the balance of the pilasters receive the uh, succulent urns, which is very cool looking. And then we have a couple olive trees here in the uh, main statement areas of the, of the masonry on the pool. And just some additional views here of the stair-stepped spa views from the sunning deck all the way across the pool to the grass area. Shot of the dining room table option there. Nice rectangular ranch table um, under Mark and Umbrella. And then I've tried to maintain some usable grass area. And over here we have another deck that could uh, receive another table and or um, other items. Um, could ex could extend the barbecue if we wanted to if uh, you guys desire to build up the kitchen and not play it down uh, but a nice barbecue up against the fence there cooking and kids could even hang out over here this could be the kids zone off the grass in this area and just again some multiple angles here different views and the idea is to keep it clean and simple but yet elegant and uh, this is a view of your dining pool side so that could be very dramatic and pretty. So that is my first attempt at the redesign of the backyard. Thank you so much for your time and your patience. Take care.